Hello everyone, this is G-Shock High Fashion Channel. Today I'm gonna review this vintage G-Shock watch that looks very cool in my opinion. Before we get even further talking about this simple looking but pretty awesome in my opinion, we're gonna have a look on our reference which is the G-Shock Perfect Bible as always from G-Shock to the Perfect anniversary. Okay, we're gonna go all the way to the year 2001 which is pretty new, look at that. So the year 2001 as being indicated up there. All of this model, very cool, so this guy, look at that. Red display frogman, all in red, very very nice. We have not a lot of uh, collectible models that was originated from this very year but one of these guys looks very cool. We actually gonna have a look all the way to the month of October. So this is a GL140 minus 2 BJR J Light 2001 winter season color variations with an what do you call this rubber watch band attached to this very model released on uh, 17,000 yen price and this guy operates on 1681 module. Like you can see now we also have other color variations over here as well blue black and gray and black you can pick other one but in this case right now we're gonna have a look at this guy color variations to light gray I believe but I don't know man just look at that it looks like totally different thing already I, mean, I don't know what happened to the watch bezel it actually turns from light to tone like this to this almost brown or yellow color, like totally different colorway. But anyway, this is it. They're supposed to come with extra watch band that is made of full uh, resin. But in this case right now, this is all that I have. I got this in a used condition, so we only gonna have this nylon watch band, which not a huge fan of, but it looks very cool in this uh, model. Well, look at that. It looks way more sleeker than most G-Shock watch that I reviewed before on the channel. Anyway, let's go to the profile of the watch. We're gonna have a look at two button operation which is rectangular in shape with two of those texture on top of it. Very simple but the watch button is long rather than wide so that's different making which allow the watch over here to reduce in size uh, as far as the length goes of course. And this will be a gap. This part over here is the shock absorber, and also provides some gap between the bottom part of the watch to your wrist, basically the watch band, and then your wrist. And that's over there. The watch bezel was locked with this three screw over here, so very impressive. Both sides go the same with construction, and we have a single button at the front to operate the EL on this base, which gonna glow in green colorway. Not as bright because the battery is fairly low already in my case, so. And we also have a pin on this bezel, so this is very cool. Comes in silver that match very well and makes the bezel even pop in my opinion. Match very well with this uh, bull bar over here, which is also good looking. If you look at most vintage or even the bull bar on any G-Shock that we got today, all of them with, will just come with standard metal. In this case, look at that, they actually have some more texture on the bull bar itself, which makes this bull bar over here is way more tougher and also way more good looking in my opinion it look more premium it have more uh, I don't know what to say but it, they have more feels of toughness and feels better than the standard bull bar you know what I really would recommend all of you guys if you are creating bull bars why not make a bull bars that looks like this I like just plain metal straight that no uh, shape at all why not make something like this instead it looks way better it looks way tougher as well and it's gonna match very well with the watch body itself not like a separate part it looks like it blending together very very well so that's very cool and we have G-Shock on top of here it looks like this uh, greenish part was built on a separate parts so I'm gonna need to open this watch body out afterwards to see what's inside here and this G button comes in gray I don't know if all this is uh, the actual color what because everything had been uh, transformed to a different colorway already so 
this is the way it is uh, as I'm holding it right now and the band adapter looks very very cool as well I really like this style of design instead of just plain square rectangular shape this guy has a lot of texture and shape on top of it especially on this size over here look at that they shape it differently and even the cutout is different they have sort of like a teeth going on on the side so that is very very cool both sides go the same I really like this type of design on the watch like this not just standard square plain watch bull bar standard of bezel just curve here and there this watch looks very cool even though I'm pretty sure there are not a lot of fans for this model up there you know what I just thought about this uh, is that all G Glide G Shock watch from the vintage model always come with a unique design and pattern, unlike other model that was released on that very year. So, there's something cool as well about this G Glide model or his family basically. Okay, now we are, I think, already done talking about the bezel and adapter and some little things about my thoughts and opinion about this model. Now, let's proceed with the watch face. All right, this graphics animation over here. The upper part will be 4 seconds, the below part will be 4 minutes. This eye over there will be used to show us a temperature reading. Press this upper right button over there and look at that. It will display current temperature in my room right now which is 25.6 degrees Celsius. I believe we could store this uh, reading as well into the recall mode using this lower right button over there. Press mode will go to the first one which is the countdown timer. We also have a stopwatch of course. And now this will be the recall mode. All of those recorded thermometer reading will start here. This will be the reading. This will be the time that it was recorded. And so on and so forth. I believe we could store all the way to 100 units of information. Look at that. This is the 99 uh, data, 98, 97, all those. Press mode will go to the next one, which is alarm. And then we will go back to hometown, which is play day, day, and time. So very, very cool. A lot of information. A lot of things that we could do with this. And also just in case you guys didn't know this model is fully made for sports that's why they added thermometer in there for you guys to be able to check the water temperature if you're gonna use this for surfing to check the snow temperature uh, at least your surrounding if you're gonna go wearing this for uh, winter sports so that's it and now moving down to the watchman we're gonna have a look at this type A buckle just single clip like this and gonna lock the watchman and also a strap below it of course comes in great colorway the watchman match very well with the bezel today i don't think it's gonna match well at the release date but for now it looks very very cool jig light being stitched on top of here and you can see some texture on this nylon part as well that looks looking very very nice it makes this thing very very sporty in my opinion and we have here i believe buckle was made in no signature at all as far as the buckle part just emptied out I don't know why but that's the way it is remove this strap over here and we can see some blue stitching on the sides of this nylon watch band that is a tiny little thing that makes this watch band over here pop up very well above this gray part look at that very very nice even this writing is already comes in uh, blue as well i believe that's why they call this uh, gl140 minus 2 because 2 stands for blue colorway okay now let's uh, proceed by having a look at the back plate which is pretty tricky so we're gonna have a look at Casio 1681 GL140 stainless steel back made in Malaysia Y water resistant to 20 bar and short resistance structure and yeah that is something as well this model is very very old and you guys could know that looking from the factory itself this guy was fully made in Malaysia wow this is the first time I saw one of these model that looks like this that was made outside of japan wow this is even more collectible when i think about right now similar as this mod man over here if i'm not mistaken this guy also fully made in malaysia as well yeah made in malaysia y i don't know what the letter y actually means over here but yeah it was made in malaysia i'm pretty sure the engine as well was made in that very factory so there's cool
Anyway, that's far as the thing that you guys should know about the construction. My thoughts and opinion about this GL140 series or G like G Shock watch in general. Now I'm gonna need to wear this and show you guys how this thing gonna feel like on my skinny wrist. First, wear this strap over here. Just strap it like that. You're gonna be able to feel if it's already fit on your wrist yet or not. And then just clip this part. If this part are at your size, could adjust it, of course, to pull the strap. That's pretty much it. Look at that. It fits on my wrist. Very, very cool. Very neat. Of course, the watch body gonna sit pretty high up my wrist. But then again, this part is pretty standard. If you're gonna be wearing this for sports, that won't matter as much anyway because the whole office. Your windbreaker, your jacket is gonna be big already, so it's gonna match very well with the watch. It's not gonna cover the watch when you need it. So I really like this bull bottle, that's it. The rest are just pretty much the same as any model, but this bull bottle. Adding that alone on this model makes a huge difference already. And yeah, that's all guys. I hope you guys found this video uh, useful, informative, and entertaining as well for your future reference. Leave a like if this video does help you and also subscribe to see more contents like this coming up in the future. Thank you very very much for watching guys. I really really appreciate your support. This is G-Shock High Fashion Channel and uh,